A major setback for people fighting to make movie and TV sets safer in the wake of the shooting on the set of Rust. Two bills stalled in the California legislature after Hollywood unions and major studios could not agree on the best way forward. Cinematographer Helena Hutchins was killed after actor Alec Baldwin's gun went off while preparing for a scene on that movie. I spoke with California State Senator Dave Cortese in October about his bill here on Prime, and here's what he said. Somebody had their finger on the trigger when they shouldn't have. Somebody didn't check a gun when they should not have. Um, live ammunition was available in a place where it was not only not needed, but it was not appropriate. Um, and um, in that what everyone calls prop guns here are, are really actual real revolvers, firearms that uh, shoot real bullets. Um, they just happen to be using them as props. And, and all of that um, goes above and beyond what's uh, appropriate or necessary uh, on a theatrical set, a movie set, or frankly, you know, even in a rural environment where a, a couple of people are, are out on a hunting trip, you just don't do those things. Well, his bill would have banned the use of guns and blank ammunition containing gunpowder or other explosives from film sets. It would have also required producers hire a safety coordinator before filming. The other bill out there would have allowed guns with blank ammunition on set, but only under the supervision of an armorer who had completed a gun safety course by the state fire marshal. For those advocating for safer sets and some of these changes, the fact that it has hit a roadblock today, it's discouraging to say the least. Richard Jones lost his daughter on the set of Midnight Rider back in 2017, and since her death, he has been advocating for better safety on movie sets, and he joins us tonight. Uh, Richard, I appreciate you coming back on um, tonight to talk about this. This news today is not what you wanted to hear. No, no, no. Um... They, if, if I may just back up, uh, take a broader view just for a moment. Um, in in um, the case of Alina Hutchins with the Rust incident, incident, of course, is a bullet that tragically killed her. In a sense, the bullet that killed my daughter was not a bullet, but a train. But the issues that led to the death of both Helena and Sarah were very, very similar. If you look at the industry, they, they have rules in place, contract services, safety bulletins. In fact, had uh, Rust production followed safety bulletin number one and two, dealing with firearms, Helena would be alive today. And in the case of uh, Midnight Rider production, had they followed safety bulletin number 28, guidelines to railroad safety, Sarah Jones would be alive today. We have the industry has the rules in place what is missing is enforcement and consequences. There are, in my view, consequences that the industry can put into place, but the industry has not yet done so. So perhaps laws are required. So here we are. And um, in order to put some teeth into these, these rules that these industry rules that, that already exist, uh, it appears that that laws are needed. So um, unfortunately, we can, we're, we're in a situation where it, it does, it, I'm not an expert with any of this, but my understanding basically on the, um, in the Senate Bill 829, one of them, uh, it, it addresses um, uh, requiring a, a, certific a certificate of completion or of a safety course for an armor to uh, handle a right. lot gone. Yeah, they need to be under the f fire marshal's purview. Um, safer sets, it seems to me, Richard, that that is a no-brainer. I mean, for anybody, right? We all want se sets to be safer, whether it's a movie or a TV show. So why why would these two bills get blocked? What's, what's holding up um, progress in, one, legislation, and two, enforcement of, of the safety standards that are already on the books? Well, uh, frankly, I think the industry, um, they don't want to be impeded in being able to do what they want to do and um that's that's unfortunate um the uh, as, as i understand it part of part of the issue is with um uh, with special effects mm -hmm. and um this would uh, again as i understand it uh this would 
restrict gunpowder from being able to to uh, create the special effects they need. So, so it does it does appear that the industry has has lacked the ability or the desire to jump in and create a good bill. It's these do kind of conflict, and and one of them, uh, the 831. Um, it's, it's certainly understandable that they do they do address firearms with what happened to Helena Hutchins. Um, that's understandable, uh, and they need to be addressed absolutely. Yeah. But it it needs to be broader, in my view. And uh, and one of the bills does call for the safety safety supervisor and certain uh, risk assessments. Yeah. And that's part that, that's where I'm interested in um, in in that position. Currently, the first assistant director is while they're supposed to keep everything moving on the set at the same time, they're supposed to be kind of a safety monitor. Well, it, it just it doesn't work. It can work yeah. that way. Well, but Richard, too often it doesn't work. I um, I applaud you because you are a father on a mission to push for change. And as I said, um, I don't know anyone who would argue for safer sets. Um, one thing that you're doing is encouraging people to speak up when they're on those sets. Um, so mm -hmm. I was browsing Safety for Sarah, your website, and and the Jonesy, which you call it, um, is for people to just take take an assessment of the situation and if they see something wrong, to to stand up and speak out about it. So thank you for what you're doing. Um, I, I wish it were under different circumstances because Sarah was was a beautiful, creative person, and I'm sorry that the world lost her. But um, thank you again for for spreading the message and shining a light on an issue that needs to be addressed. Well, thank you addressing for addressing this. It's, this needs to be done. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.